Welcome to Searchlight Nevada. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. I mean seriously, nearest town is Vegas. It's over an hour away. This place is like a political Woodstock. There's people on the hills, there's people on cranes, there's people camped out on the road. They've all come here for the Tea Party Express Dump Harry Reid event. What is the Tea Party Movement? The Tea Party Movement is basically a movement of ordinary American citizens getting involved in civic affairs, getting involved in governance, getting involved in the political process for the first time perhaps. Why are we seeing so many rookie politicians, people who have never been involved in politics, running for national office this year? Because of this right there, they thought they finally have a voice. This is the catalyst right here. There's no national leader, there's no big organization, there's no company behind it. It is just average Americans who are fed up at what they're seeing going on in their country, the complete abandonment of of the constitutional principles that our founding fathers laid out, and so they've taken out to the streets, basically. I'm just a mom who's concerned, and that's why I got involved in this movement, and most of the people in this movement are just your average, everyday citizens who have never been involved in politics like myself. People are honking horns yes, at you. Is, is, this, is this normal? Yeah, <laughs> yes. I mean, I see people waving flags <laughs> and, and honking. honking. Yes, it, it, sho it shows you the excitement and enthusiasm. We're not asking people to do We're anything. We're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yes, and people on the highway are honking. The major principles of the Tea Party movement are fiscal responsibility, limited government, and free markets. Are we going to have a free society, or are we going to compromise some of those freedoms along the lines of more of a European socialized system? One of the first things we've got to do is we've got to get the Republican Party back to the principles that they enunciate. What is the Tea Party Express? Uh, the Tea Party Express is a national movement of supporters of the Tea Party movement and one of the things that we've done is to try and reach people across the country by having these bus tours so that we can build national momentum for this cause leading up to our final destination which is Washington DC. One of the coolest things about being on the Tea Party Express bus, this is not a wall, this is a door. This is like Star Trek, man. Mr. Sulu. Come here, please. Can't hear. Warp speed. Sir, what happened to your windshield? We were coming into Searchlight and passed a bunch of uh, Harry Reid supporters, and they were standing on the edge of the road and hit us with several eggs in the windshield and the side of the bus. Sir, would you consider this a drive-by egging? I would consider it a drive-by egging. Now, I'm not sure in the state of Nevada whether getting egged is a crime or not, but it sure made this morning a little bit more exciting. Does Tea Party Express endorse spitting on congressmen? That is, is a desperate, pathetic um, uh, attempt to, to marginalize and discredit the people that are there you know, protesting and rallying for something they believe in. There are, there are 100 cameras that film that and we've watched them all, and there's nobody spitting on anybody. The Tea Party Express does not endorse spitting on congressmen or calling them racist names or any of the stuff that, you know, has been bandied about in the media. And there's no better place to kick off the Tea Party Express than Harry Reid's hometown. Well, it's been a heck of a day, and it was a heck of a climb getting to the top of this hill. You know, people came from all over the country to be here today. The nearest town, Searchlight, Nevada, didn't have enough hotel rooms for them. People had to stay an hour away in Las Vegas. People slept in tents, in their cars, in their motorhomes. Seeing all these people out here, I can't help but think, when the Founding Fathers said that citizen participation was essential to form a free Republican government, is this what they were talking about? Could they have envisioned this? or was it exactly what they were envisioning?